Okay, so next up, I'm going to have a go at making the piston. And I've just ground a tool to make the thin groove in it. So um, here's the piece of stock that they provide. So I'm going to get that mounted in, in the uh, four drawer on the lathe and get going. So I've faced the end of the material and I've got to get this down to the same size as the ball. So I'll, um, I've measured and that's about 2.8 millimeters to come up with that. So I'll um, keep taking slices off until I get close and then I'll get the cylinder and I'll keep trying it until it pushes on and then I'll know I'm at the correct diameter. That should be a dimension now. Doesn't quite go on, so just needs a little bit more off. Okay, so that fits on there. It slides easily. And it sort of turns under under its own weight, just. So I'm hoping that's about right. There's a um, a groove I need to cut now for the O-ring to go in, and I guess that's what creates the seal for the air pressure in the cylinder. And this diameter is what helps it to run true. I would assume. Uh, so we see how that goes. So this is the tool that I've ground to create the groove. The cutting tool was thinner than the width of the groove I needed, so I took cuts in multiple places until the correct width was achieved. I could only measure the width with a set of calipers. Ideally, this should be measured using slip gauges. The o-ring was inserted in the groove and I did a test fit of the cylinder. The cylinder did fit but looking back it is a little tight for a steam engine and will need adjusting later in the project. I drilled and tapped a hole for the piston rod to screw on. Having a screw enables the position within the cylinder to be altered during assembly before Loctite is used to keep it in place permanently. Parted off the piston. Later I realised the piston height was too large, so I had to reduce it down to enable it to fit in the cylinder during the full piston stroke of the engine.
Okay, I guess this is the scary part of uh, does it all go back together? I should put a level of oil in there. there uh. okay yeah once I've got the oil spread around there it loosened up a bit So how did we do? Um, I made the cinder too long initially, but I've managed to um, reduce that down. I guess we won't know until we try and run it. But, looking good so far.